गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू अवर सेवंथ लेक्चर ऑफ इकॉन थ्री फाइव थ्री दैट इज एग्रीकल्चर मार्केटिंग ट्रेड एंड प्राइसेस सो टूडेज अवर टॉपिक इज डिमांड सप्लाय एंड प्रोड्यूसर सरप्लस आई थिंक एज वी हैव कवर्ड और एज वी हैव लर्न दिस टॉपिक्स इन अवर सेकेंड सेमिस्टर कोर्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स दैट इज principles of agriculture economics or fundamentals of agriculture economics as we know what is mean by demand what is mean by supply and we have covered what is mean by consumers surplus so similarly in this marketing course we have to see the demand supply and producers surplus so in demand what is demand demand is the willingness and ability to pay under a specified condition or it means quantity of a product which a buyers are likely or willing to purchase at a different prices in a given market at a particular period so what is law of demand or what law of demand says means when a prices increases its demand of that commodity decreases so law of demand what it represents it represents relationship between or inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded or price and quantity purchase so then next is effective demand what is effective demand it is the desire of consumer for the commodity backed up by his purchasing power means desire and his purchasing power must it shows the effective demand then what will be the derived derived demand it is the demand for some commodities exist only because they are used in producing other commodities which satisfy human wants means the demand for inputs that is a derived demand then reservation demand and price it is a quantity of product a seller would like to retain rather than sell at a given price that is a reservation demand and price now which are the different factors which affects the demand of agricultural products not only the price there are some factors like weather condition prices of substitutes then some habit taste consumers preferences these are the some factors which are affecting the demand for farm products so this is all about the demand now next is so this is a demand curve what it shows demand curve on x axis there is a quantity and on y axis there is a price the next is supply what is supply supply refers to schedule or quantities of a product that will be offered for a sale at a different prices at a given time in a given market so there is a logical relationship between quantity supplied and its prices if the higher the prices the larger quantity that is offered for sale and vice versa so here is direct relationship between price and quantity supplied as the price increases their supply also increases so this is a supply curve now next is most important topic of today's lecture that is producer surplus as we know what is consumer surplus it is a difference between what we are willing to pay and what we are actually paid that is a consumer surplus but here is different thing we have to see the producer surplus who is producer farmers or any industry they are the producer so what is producer surplus it is a quantity of produce which is or can be made available by the farmers or producers to the non farm population that is a producers surplus so in that producer surplus there are main two types first one marketable surplus and second one marketed surplus so we will be see one by one first one is marketable surplus so what is marketable surplus it is the residual left with the farmers or producers after meeting his requirements requirements for family consumption farm needs for labor etc so it may be expressed as ms 
means marketable surplus is equal to P total production minus total requirements or total consumption that is a marketable surplus. Suppose a farmer he got a production for this season is 10 quintals of jowar but his family requirements are 4 quintals then what is residual left or what is left to him that is a marketable surplus that is 6 quintals is a marketable surplus or the quantity which is available with farmer to sell in market that is a marketable surplus so next is marketed surplus what is marketed surplus it is the quantity of the produce which a producer farmer actually sells in the market irrespective of his requirements for consumption farm need or any other payments means without thinking of his requirement when a farmer he got suppose a 10 quintals of jawar he will sell as it is in the market then that will be the marketed surplus now what is relationship between marketable and marketed surplus so marketed surplus may be more less or equal to marketable surplus it may there are two three chances it may be more less or equal to marketable surplus depending upon the conditions of the farmer type of the crop or it may be varies from season to season or region to region so then marketable surplus is more marketed surplus is more than marketable sur surplus when the farmer retains smaller quantity of crop than his actual requirements for family and farm needs so such type of conditions are true in a small scale farmers and marginal farmer those farmers whose requirements are more in that case their marketed surplus is more than marketable surplus now next is the marketed surplus may be equal to marketable surplus when 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 the farmer neither retains more or less of than his requirement this holds true for perishable commodities of the average farmer in case of perishable commodities like fruits vegetables their marketed surplus is equal to marketable surplus so this happens in case of average farmers okay now last there are three groups of farmer that is small medium and large in case of large farmers they sell less than the quantity of marketable surplus why because their retention capacity is higher they can get higher production from the their field or from their farm they retain extra produce in the market in hope that they will get higher price in a later period so this is about the marketed and marketable surplus thank you